most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Dan Tomasso. Welcome in everyone seeing some of those clouds sneaking in from the north as I mentioned, but still mainly sunny day. If there will be a shower today, it'll be north over the mountains over northern PA or western New York State coming in over the lakes. By the way, speaking of the lakes yesterday, storms rolled off of Lake Erie and into parts of northwestern Pennsylvania. There were active severe thunderstorm warnings and tornado warnings as a result of those storms. Things are much quieter today. The front is now to our east on the backside, more of a northwest wind and at times today it's going to feel cool because of the breeze, but the sun still relatively warm. Look at this gorgeous afternoon setting up in front of us. This is northern Dolphin County, Millersburg at the middle school there. Current temperatures around 70 degrees for most of us. This is the comfortable fall weather we all love. And again, it may be in short supply at times like it was to start fall, but when we get it, it can lock in and this week is going to be a pleasant one. If you have any plans after work, school tonight, Again, a little bit of a breeze, temperatures dropping into the low 60s and ultimately the 50s and 40s tonight. But there's more sunshine coming. The breeze will slowly relax through tomorrow and the middle part of this week. But high pressure moving in, not much going on locally, but all the weather right now is pushed farther to the south. Active areas of rain over Florida ahead of Milton, but Milton, as we mentioned throughout the show, is now a very strong and rare Category 5 storm. There's even evidence that this wind report 160 miles per hour could be on the lower side of the estimates. The intensification of this storm has been extreme over the last 24 hours. The unfortunate part is it's going to be moving close to a very high population area of Florida from Tampa through Orlando. Again, hurricane force winds likely even into landfall and beyond for Florida plus very heavy rain. So for us, we don't have to worry about that storm. It's all shunted and pushed to the south, but we will get some clouds from the northwest today and tomorrow, but plenty of sunshine in between. When we look at rain totals, there is nothing happening. So while there may be a couple of showers to the north today, we stay dry. That crisp air holds strong. Look at the forecast the next couple of days. We're into the middle and upper 60s. Gorgeous weather. The seven day forecast featuring all this sunshine, quiet conditions. When we know things are so active to the south, it's hard to believe it could be this nice. But James, looking ahead to the weekend, 72 Saturday. I wouldn't get too wound up about showers yet for Sunday. It's just kind of out there. Front timing's a big deal. Will the showers actually get here by Sunday evening, Sunday night? That remains to be a question. We'll be figuring that out all week, my friend. But again, Florida bracing for this storm as they should be. This is a very serious situation. I can't repeat it enough. On the heels of Helene, right. now more storm surge, rain, flooding, plus the heavy wind. It is not a good scenario. Just absolutely awful. But in the meantime, for us, it doesn't look like that storm is going to affect our weather at all, even though Helene Zero did have an impact on us. Correct. So again, because of everything coming from the north and from the northwest, it pushes that track to the south and out to sea away from us. All right. Thank you so much, sure. Dan. We'll be right back.